this out here if I try to keep it short, but the Glock did beat the SIG P3, P320 in that Army Trials test. That's it right there. There it is, the other side. I'm videoing off my computer so it's not lousy, but you can go back and search all this. That's 23. But here's this uh, little section that shows some of the criteria here, but where they went through the uh, government accountability office. If you go back and research all this, you'll see that the Glock actually beat the SIG. That's why they're protesting it. They didn't even finish the test, but they read these articles. The GO, GOA actually just outright says that the, the SIG had more fails. I'm, I'm gonna try to. Uh, they give them uh, it, and stuff like for uh, ammunitions right here on marginal, at, which shouldn't have been. It should have been. They can get the ammo just as just about as good as Sig. The several ratings. They didn't even test the the compact. This left it out because the compact Sig couldn't had too many failures. They couldn't get it to where they wanted it, so they just left it out. But Go through and uh, check all these articles out. Google it. You'll see. This one here is from military.com. There's a few, but it tells you in, you know, the $100 million difference is why they chose the, the SIG, but in performance, the Glock won. And they didn't even finish it. That's what here Glock, Glock is complaining about here. If saying if they uh, finished it out, it would be shown that the Glock will outperform that SIG gun. But uh, the Army rather save the money. Don't care. I guess I should have kept some of these, but. Anyhow, Sig Sawyer's full-size handgun had a higher stoppage rate than Glock's handgun, and there may have been other problems with the weapon's accuracy. That's this agency that's telling you. They've seen it. They know it. But anyhow, research it. You'll see. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.